Tuesday, March the 3rd. Which means that it's Krista's birthday. A member of the ASD. So, I would like to first welcome you to my video. Happy birthday to Krista. And happy March 3rd and happy Tuesday. It's not Monday anymore. <sighs> so, let's see what's going on in my life. Well, recently I have discovered that I am getting B's in two of my classes. Which, it's not too upsetting, but still not as good as I'd like them to be. So I had to talk about it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the telephone thing got done and got back to me and uh, people really didn't do it exactly right because you're not supposed to text it. It's only supposed to be by word of mouth. So you're supposed to try to remember it and then repeat it. So we made it kind of long so we knew it would get messed up but then like we didn't expect people to write it down. I need to check it with Erica actually what I got on the end because I had to write it down. Because what happened was Erica and I came up with a phrase and then she had it. I don't know if she still does, but it's not right. It goes something like, <clears throat> the A-S-T. Were, not we are, were not an internet mean, but don't be jealous because we're great. That was not it at all. It, was not it, all. it, it rhymed, it was really good. Erica came up with it, so... Of course, it's literary genius, but that's another story. So, since no one called Jessica last week, or no one called Jessica this week because um, of complications, I'm going to call her right now and say hi to her so she doesn't feel left out. Hey Jessica, it's Matt. I your phrase because no one called you this week, but that's okay. Um, if you answered the phone, and I'm sure I'd tell you the phrase, which was not what it originally was, but um, this is going into my video. So, uh, yeah, I hope we can talk soon, and I can't wait to see you the next time I do see you, which I don't know when that'll be. But, um, all right, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I had no idea what I was saying there, Jessica. I'm really sorry. Uh, that's epic poetry. So I thought to myself, well, why not read something from that? Because I like to be epic. So I'm going to read to you, um, Drew, for your poem challenge. Um, the Iliad, or the introduction to the Iliad. The whole thing would take forever, but... <clears throat> anyway. Anger, be now your song, immortal one. Achilles' anger, doomed and ruinous that caused the Achaeans' loss on bitter loss, and crowded brave souls into the undergloom, leaving so many dead, carry on. For dogs and birds and the will of Zeus was done. Begin it when the two men, first contending, broke with one another. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty cool. You know, the Odyssey. Just because I think the opening and the, um, are, are very important, but, okay. Speak memory of the cunning hero, the wanderer blown off course time and time again, as he plundered Troy's sacred heights. Speak of all the cities he saw, the mines he grasped, the suffering deep in his heart at sea, as he struggled to survive and bring his men home, but could save not them, hard as he tried. The fools, destroyed by their own recklessness when they ate the oxen of Hyperion of the sun. And that god snuffed out their day of return. Of these things, speak, immortal one, and tell the tale once more in our time. So, well, I guess this video is going to be kind of short because I don't really have much to talk about and um, I don't remember any of the challenges. Were there any challenges? I haven't seen Drew's video yet, um, and I haven't seen John, have I seen John? So that's everything with my life, I've read you some poetry. So anyway, yeah, I guess that's it, uh, I hope to see you guys soon, and I hope everything's going great, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, bye-bye.